Hello guys, it is Everything Epan here back with another video today. This is going to be a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2416 in VirtualBox. Now, this is the second build of the pre-beta series and um, this was released in early January of 2001 and this was the build right before 2419 which changed the uh, startup screen for one build and then went back to a new one. So this is uh, the last one before it changed for one build and then went back to a new one. So enough talking, we're uh, just gonna get right into this tutorial. So the links will be in the description for the VirtualBox and also WinRAR as well as you're gonna need the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO which is in the description. We're gonna use that first and Whistler will be in the description as well. There'll be a link to WinRAR PC for that. So we're going to make a new virtual machine here and we're just going to call it Windows Whistler Build 2416. And then for the version, we're going to select XP 32 bit and click next. And then for the memory, 512 megs is what I'm going to bump it up to. You can leave it at the uh, default of 192. Uh, doesn't really matter. So uh, then we're going to click next and it's going to ask us to create a disk. You know, the drill here, VDI next, dynamically allocated next, and then the default of 10 gigs and create it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings and then we're going to go to the storage tab and go to the disk. And you're going to need to browse for the DOS 6.22 ISO first. And then you will insert that. Mine's just right here because I used it recently. So there it is. And we'll click OK. And then we'll start up the machine here and it should take a quick second to get up and then it's going to boot into DOS and you see it's loading up here and while it's doing that there we go we're going to need to type in the date command so we'll do that by typing date it's going to give the current date and now we're going to change it to uh, in order to be able to install this so the date is January 5th of 2001 so you'll type it in 01 hyphen zero five hyphen 2001 and then smack dab on the enter key and then we can confirm the new date it says friday january 5th 2001 and then now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the whistler 2416 iso like i said you'll have to browse for that and make sure you download that if you do not have it already mine's here because i've used it recently and then we're going to go up to the machine tab and do a reset so it's going to reboot and then you'll see it's going to boot up and do the disk and it'll take a quick uh, little bit here to load up all the files and all that good stuff so just give it a little bit of time and it will pop up here with the first uh, window here with the setup so it's gonna say setup is starting Windows Whistler and there you go it's gonna pop up here with the first screen and we're just gonna hit enter to continue it's gonna come up with a welcome to a setup click enter one more time and then we're going to click the F8 key to agree to the license agreement. And then we're going to use this space right here, the only one that's available. Click enter. And then we're going to go up to format using the NTFS quick. And we'll hit enter one more time. It's going to format real quick. Shouldn't take too long. And then after that, it's going to copy files real quick. So it shouldn't take that long. As you can see there, it didn't take long. It's going to do a little examination next. And then you see it goes really, really quick when it goes to the process of copying all the files over. So you just give it a little time here and it will do its thing. And then once it gets to 100, it's going to ask for a reboot. And we're going to go ahead and do that. You can let the timer run or you can hit enter to restart right away. And it'll ask to press any key to boot from the CD. Do not do that. You're going to get in a constant loop if you do that. That's just going to get you stuck. So, um, so just let it sit, it's going to boot up and, uh, we'll get to the next part of the setup. So you'll see it's got starting windows. There is the, uh, boot screen. Like I said, this is the last time this one will appear and then it will change again. Um, like I said, if you guys have seen like my VMware tutorial for, uh, Whistler 2419, you can check that out. Um, that will show you what the new boot screen looks like, but we'll make sure to get a virtual box tutorial for that. So here we are, we're at the uh, GUI interface part and it's going to do some installation real quick and then it will come up with a dialog box here to continue the setup. And it's just gonna take a little bit here to install some devices. It's not gonna take too long to go through this whole process. 
So just give it a little bit more time here, and then after it completely goes through, it will pop up with your regional and language options. So default set to English, set that to what you need to, and then click next. It's gonna ask for a name, and I'm just gonna type my channel name for this, and then next, and then you can name your computer, whatever you'd like. This is just uh, what I'm gonna name it. And then next, it's gonna ask for your date and time. Um, this is what it's default, change it to whatever you need to, click next, or you can leave it at the default, doesn't really matter. And now it's gonna go through the process of copying files. So um, this process won't take a little bit or take too long. It's just gonna go through of copying, completing, and then uh, doing some final things before it reboots one more time. So um, this will probably be the longest part of the setup. So as you can see, now it's installing start menu items and then it will just keep going with doing some more installation and all that stuff. So, and the time goes down real quick. It says it's going to be done in like 30 minutes. Takes you probably a max of five to get this done. Maybe 10, just depending on what your computer's like. So, um, should take about five minutes to complete. And um, so now I will be pausing this real quick to let this go through. And I'll be back with you guys when we hit the next restart point. So here we are, it's rebooting again after it completes. Uh, once again, do not press any key to boot from the CD. And um, it's gonna boot up into the last part of the setup just to do some final things like create your user account and stuff like that. So um, there we go, starting Windows, there's the boot screen. And then there is the build number you see in the bottom right there. And it's going to come up with a display settings window. We're just going to check that box and click yes. So it's going to make it a little bit bigger, but not by much. And then I'll give you the logon sound there and this little guy will pop up. And now we can go ahead and click next on the welcome screen here. And then click no activate later and next. Um, you can decline uh, doing an internet connection at this time. There's no purpose because there's no use on this. So do that and click next. And then uh, you can have more than one user if you'd like, but I'm just gonna do no, I'm the only person. And click next and it's gonna come up with a thank you message. So click finish. And then after that, it will load for a little bit and then it should get you to be logging in. So it may take a little bit of time for it to think. Just kind of depends. Sometimes it's a little buggy. They're beta builds, so they're going to be buggy. Y'all should know that. So there it is. Now it's going in and logging in. And... Uh, there we are on the desktop now, so we have successfully installed it. And if I go to the computer properties, you can confirm that the version here is 2416. It's going to say, you know, it's in beta still, so it's going to say 2000, may say XP later on. But there you go. That is the quick little video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2416 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys thought this helped you out or if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like down below. And for any of you newbies out here that are not yet subscribed, please do so if you haven't. If you want more VirtualBox tutorials or anything like that, <clears throat> uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, click the bell for the notifications on whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified if you click the bell. So. And if any of you guys have any ideas for future videos, be sure to leave them down below. Once again, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next video.